Oh my word. Call the inquirer. The boys started the dishwasher without being asked. Uh, I'm not hurting as bad this morning. It's currently most in my big toes. You can kind of see it's red, swollen. I'm kind of crossing my fingers and I'm gonna be able to put on. Well, I kind of feel like I'm missing something. Probably because I cannot find my apron. I think I saw the boys way out there. Boy, they're feeling good today. Oh, there they are. They're playing down on the tree. What? Hey, what have you guys done this morning? All of the little animals. Really? Check the pig water. Uh, you gonna eat that while we drive? Yeah. We accidentally threw some non-edible stuff into the pig scraps, so we had to throw out all the pig scraps. So what'd you feed them this morning? Grain and Arun scraps. How are we doing on pig grain? I think we're getting low, aren't we? Yeah. Are we getting dangerously low? Not dangerously low. Because it takes at least a week to get here. Yeah, you better order some. Okay. Yeah. Alright, why don't we pick up this grass next? Going from here to here. There, well, there's another hole here. Why don't we Why would up? you dig it up? To get rid of the rats. Okay. Josiah loves to dig. Hey, we'll have to show them your, hey, you guys need to take them up to, will you take the vloggers up to your, that would be the happy ending today. You want to take the vloggers up to your pit? Can I drive all the way up there? Yeah, we just got to move a thing that, a tree that fell on the road. All right. All right, let's go check the other jobs. Boy, I haven't been out here in a while. Uh-huh. The fat chicks, they're jamming. Are they getting big? You guys have moved them good. They're not, that's not nasty in there. It looks though that, that they need more feed. So okay. let's go get more feed and their coop needs to be moved up. Well, we got the stuff for, for grit. Guys, they went through this whole bucket in like a month. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's how important grit is. Especially with turkeys. They're like voracious grit eaters. Is this where y'all like to get grit? Yep, we're going yep. to the jungle. It's a pretty place. <laughs> Imagine like a tree that we're like shovel. No, no. This creek sand, which is little tiny rocks, it's just not big rocks, and the little stuff going in the crib. Look what I found in the pretty place. You gotta show all that. Oh my word, that's a smooth. That's Are you sure stuff. you found that in there? Yes. Maybe that's one of y'all's play no, rocks. No, it isn't. That's crazy smooth. That's a real maybe rock. Maybe, maybe it fell out of someone's pocket, but I okay. found it in the pretty place. All right, y'all go help. Hold it in your pocket. I'd hang on to that one. Look at this. These guys are looking great. They've all made, what, 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 how many we lost? One, two? Yeah. So this has been a good round, especially since we lost half the first round. And then, <laughs> I guess we lost all of them on the third round to the rat. This is encouraging. They're going tomorrow, guys. So who's gonna pull out the feed this afternoon, evening? Thank you, Jonah, for volunteering to do that. I should show you guys how big of a difference this has made. This is a 30 degree slope, and I didn't know if this would work this steep, but this is one of our worst pastures, so we wanted to, I'll show you. I'll show you what we wanted to do. You always want to run the sea monsters in your worst pasture. I'm gonna show you why. Give me a second, we'll drive over there. I think you can see it pretty good from here. There's the chicken, so it's worn out right behind them. But it soon starts jamming. Yeah, see how much greener it is right there? It's really not catching good on camera. But it's so much greener where they were. See, they were up on that top strip. Green, not so green. See that? It's because we've been going across. Let's check Dixie. She's right up there with everybody. Claire, our sheep mentor, uh, saw the video and said she thinks that Claire might just be depressed from the um, weaning. She's eating. I don't, she's not faking it. She's actually eating. She'll come out here and fake. She'll just hang, hang her head down, act like she's eating. Probably so a predator doesn't pick on that she's weak. So that's encouraging. She basically kicked this on her own. Claire didn't think it was mastitis, so that's good. Cause she'll, Cause she'll kick a depression. She was the most prolific mother. So I can see her having the most hard time, the most difficult time. I just love this particular pasture. Yellow flowers, white flowers. Everybody's happy in there, isn't that nice? That right there down there? It used to be thick forest. We used pigs right up in here to help us clear this forest and bring up grass. 
You guys can thank the pigs. This used to be total forest. Now look at it, wonderful grasses. It's not perfect. One rule of thumb I learned from Joel Salton himself is with pig disturbance, if you disturb it too much, you're gonna get weeds. And if you disturb it not enough, you're gonna get brambles. This is a good milking spot because I found that when the cows are standing uphill, their legs go their backward and then their udder goes level. Yes. <laughs> it's like a perfect setup, isn't it? I know. Let's start measuring my recovery by my ability to milk. Joel had some ideas for our mobile milking stanchion, which th this was his idea. See this crossbar going there? Mm -hmm. He said, he said, well, if you could raise that to the above the cow level, and then put some cross braces like that. Mm -hmm. From down. The cows could get through there and they could lounge right there. Right now they can't lounge there or on the skids or on the back. Well, we can't do that because then, because you have your stanchion here and it has to be that low so they can go over it. But what if we put the stanchion there? Okay. There's no rule that it has to be this way only. directional, yeah. So if the stanchion were there, then we could put this brace higher and that would <laughs> catch on logs. Remember guys, that is caught on logs. That would free up one side for lounging. What if we took the mineral and put it on that side too? Well, maybe we should put it on the opposite side. And we open up this side, then two sides would be open for lounging. He thought that this could be tw 12 foot by 16. It's probably 16, but the roof could be wider, which I agree. I feel like I feel like we could have more of a lip. People ask me if I have the plans for this thing. What's well, a big prototype until um, until we perfect it enough to put out the plans? But I need to be thinking about it and trying to make maybe make some of these changes to see if that works. Nice guys, that was quick. They're in a good mood today, man. They're knocking it out. I know they're fun. Let's measure my healing in my left hand. See? Wow. She's really. Not wow. Healing. Yeah, and I don't know if I can do that yet. No, maybe don't. Uh, see, you know the rubber ball? Yeah. If you do rubber ball, it also helps you to uh, take your stress away. It's yeah. very good, like, exercise for... Yeah. If Teddy brings you some his own ball, probably what I'm going to have to do. Let her out. Phyllis is ready. They know the drill. It's something. It's crazy. All they got in the routine. Hi, little one. He doesn't care to be with Phyllis. He's probably got a full belly. He's still nursing 24-7. We'll do that until... We come out here in the morning and there's no milk. He'll start keeping up with her milk. And then we'll be like, okay, now it's the time. And we'll separate him at night. He'll go in with the little lambs and the calf. I'm just really happy to watch them graze and eat. It just seems so pretty and peaceful to me this morning. I'm just realizing this is slowing me down. Time is now taken up with just observation, which has been nice. Something I don't take enough time to do, probably. That one, I think we're gonna let go dry, Jenna. Yeah, I think there's. A She'll have two dry teeth. It's clogged. Yeah, that one was a dud last time. Towards the end, we had just had to milk out, and it was just snotty stuff. So I think it's closing off. She's older. She's ten, what, of ten, eleven years old. She's lost both teeth on the side. Mm-hmm. So she's got two teeth left. Still, she'll probably give us two or three gallons at her height. Once our milk really starts to come in. It's time to think about replacing Phyllis as she's getting older. <laughs> down to two teats before she gets down to one or zero. We've gone back and forth with some different plans. One would be to buy a replacement. That'd be immediate, except replacements aren't really available. It's kind of hard to get livestock right now. We've been hanging on to this one. Maple. I love Maple's build. She's got this pot belly. She's got these short legs. I said to Josh, why did you sell us her? <laughs> like, what's wrong? <laughs> Was this a call? You know, she's a little. She's little. So you're, what, two months older, Polly? I mean, look at that build. Uh, and she is small, which is good. I mean, Dennis at Full Circle Farm liked small cows. Greg Judy likes small cows. I said, Josh, what's wrong with her? <laughs> Basically. I said, what'd you, what'd you get rid of her? He said, she actually comes from a great mom. She actually comes from a great dad. It's they needed the milk. So they'll call their calves early so that they can get 100% of the milk. 
because they're dairy. So that kind of made me happy, Maple, because Flossie adopted you. Remember that? So this is not going to just surrender. Are you a little old thing? This is a really nerve-wracking experience, I think. Keep fighting, honey. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna get back there and hold the line. Look, look, look. She got on. She got on despite. Yeah, I mean, well, she's gonna. Yes. Yesterday it took getting in the stanchion, but maybe if we've got her on alfalfa. Yes. Yes. Keep trying. Keep trying. Okay. Keep trying. Keep trying. We're already keeping this heifer away from stud because we're raising her for meat. Polly. So we might as well keep you two. We're keeping one cow away from stud. Might as well keep two. Because she won't be ready for... We don't want to breed her yet. She needs to grow up to be what? 20 months old. I like you. I have a special connection with you. You're cute. <laughs> Isn't that kind of cool? She's adopted, Flossie raised her. She's not related at all to Stud. She's grown up on our farm her entire life. It just kind of makes sense to keep her. Now that means we are gonna have to do another run with Phyllis and kind of cross our fingers that all will go well in her older age. Because if that calf is say, let's say it's I don't know, eight months old. You gotta wait 12 months to get it to 20 months old to breed. And then you gotta wait nine to have your baby. So it could be uh, 12 plus nine. So 21, almost two years. Patience, homesteading is, oh! We're gonna make yogurt today. Give it my best shot. Ugh. This is crazy. I could bang this jar lid, but I don't want to do that because you just needs a little more oomph. You need you need me to. This open is hard on me. She <laughs> got there. So, uh, hold on a second. Uh -huh. you, he has. Mm, mm. It's always a joke. He's kidded me for uh, practically our whole marriage. So dark. That I can't open my own jars, which no. I can open most, but I can't open so, all. 90 I can sometimes. open all my own jars until now. I guess it's come to come to get me. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Holding a baby. Holding a baby open in a jar. It was hard. It was and hard. My hands hurt a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you had to gird up your loins a little bit. Did I? We had what we got this morning, although we did spill a lot. We're trying not to cry over spilled milk. I'd say that's a quart. Third cup for every half gallon, so two thirds cup. And then plus, we'll do, then we'll do a half of a third, so let's go ahead and do that. Mr. Brown's gonna help me ladle. I was doing it fine with my left hand, and I'm like, she's just gonna make a mess. Then I'm like, well, if I move the jar over here, it won't matter as much as if it makes a mess. It was like right here, and then milk gets all up. Well, this was first attempt. Milk on the floor. Now he's doing that, and I can go get the lids. I've made my way into the woods, and we're gonna see this kid's fort. Oh, you got a little walkway right there. Where does that go? To the toilet? Where's the toilet? It's just a quicker path. Is that the toilet? No. Look at this. Wow. Papa, it's so good. You can come in here. That's crazy. You can come in here. Look how clay it is up here. Very red clay. You can come in here. Whoa, you've, you've got a branches and mud roof. We're gonna fix this. It's leaning to one side too this much. This is an earthen structure come right here. On. I bet it's nice and cool. Yeah, come, come inside. inside. I will, I will. So you dug the, you've dug all this out. Yeah. Yes. Oh my this word. Boy, they put energy into something when they this want it, don't they, they Beck? Yeah, they do. This is where it was. Look was. at this retaining wall. Becky's teasing me, telling me I look like walking around like my dad. Which I guess is true. It's how he walks around. You have to dunk. <laughs> At 86. Hi, I'm like dunk. an 86 year old man. Can you dunk? Hi, wow. Dad. Hi, Mom. 
we that's had to, over six feet tall. We had to build this wall from right here all mm. the way to here. And Mama. it rained too, so the it must have worked. That did work. They didn't get the puddle in here. Hey, Mama. It didn't puddle. Well, Man, that got washed out. Boy, y'all dug a hole. Yeah.